I don't think it differs from other London derbies, um, but there's always been a relationship between Tottenham and West Ham. Um, yeah, I think it's more to do with the supporters than, than the players, but as a local derby, obviously, you want to win the game. I consider everyone memorable, and uh, the older you get, and uh, they become even more memorable. And uh, but one year we played at Upton Park. I'd rejoined Spurs at the age of 33. We went back there, and I scored a goal where we had actually had 36 passes, uh, and I was involved in the build-up four times before curling a uh, right-footed shot into the top corner of the net, um, and at one goal of the month. So, from a personal point of view. To win that game, but to get score a wonder goal and, and, and such a goal that sort of fit in with my way of thinking of how the game should be played 36 passes, it was a wonder goal, and uh, so that is my most personal memorable moment. I was lucky enough to play against Ozzy Ardiles. I mean, all right, he wasn't the um, strongest of players, but technically, he was, he was superb. Um, I've played against a few of them, Glenn Ardell, Graham Roberts, another um, all-height centre-half. Um, but yeah, I mean, see Clive Allen, people like that. There's some, some exceptional players at Tottenham. Uh, Nolan, without a doubt, he scores goals, he breaks from midfield, comes into the box late. Uh, and scores gold, so I would say he's quite a major threat and I think that he's been a good signing for them and he's come up with quite a few goals and uh, he's someone that you, you certainly um, can't switch off to because he's forever bur bursting into the box and, and coming in unmarked because he's breaking from midfield, so he's quite a big threat.